Hello everyone and welcome to Sweet Stitches Quilt Shop. Today is First Friday Demonstration Day. Won't you join me over at the cutting table? Hi everyone and thanks for joining me today. October Demonstration Day, our theme is October Offerings it's because it's a variety of different things that really don't go together but there's some great projects here. So let me start with our first project. This is the Runaround Bag, and it is by Noodlehead. They create a lot of bag patterns, and this is one of their um, more simpler ones. The hardest part about this one is making binding, and it is gonna be on the class schedule, and I will teach you how to do bias binding that goes around the edge here. It's very easy, and I had a lot of fun making this one. So this is a non-structured bag so when I put it down it can you know totally collapse for those of you that like a bag that you just throw your stuff in and go the less organized of, of you all um, will like this kind of bag it has um, a magnetic closure at the top and it also has pockets inside and it also has a zipper pocket which it's very easy because you sew the zipper pocket in the lining piece before you put the bag together. So it's very easy to do. Like I said, this will be a class. It's on the class calendar. Fun bag, just to grab your stuff and, and go out to the store or whatever. And we've made it in these um, cotton linen blends. So Robert Kaufman makes a 45 linen and 55 cotton blend and they come in these beautiful colors. They have this really neat feel to them, a little bit heavier than regular quilting cottons, and a lot of great patterns. I just love this little blue daisy. And inside we have um, some light blue lining flowers inside there. So we have it, it in a lot of different colors, and you can come in and um, pick one out. Try it in a quilt too. Um, they work beautifully with cotton fabrics. This is a great little bag. It's called the Runaround Bag. Hope you give it a try. So my next project is a quilt block that I wanted to share with you. Um, I wanted to make up a pretty um, little baby quilt with these um, Dragonfly Dream fabrics from Robert Kaufman. Just a cute, easy quilt to put together. Fun colors. Perfect for a little girl or a big girl, either way. Um, it's a quilt block that I made with, uh, of course, my favorite ruler, folded corner clipper ruler. And for this one, I used the larger folded corner clipper ruler to cut the, the bigger blocks. And then I used the smaller one to cut the smaller blocks. Um, but if you just have the big one, um, you'll be fine. What, it's, what it is, is you're going to take two strips that are eight inches wide, and you're gonna put them right sides together. And what we're gonna make are half square triangles. So we're gonna put the ruler on the strip, and we're going to cut, moving the ruler down the strip and cutting our half square triangles. And so once you have your pairs together, they're ready to go put through the machine with your quarter inch seam and chain piece them so that you can get all the half square triangles done. Then I pressed my seams open. Of course, you wanna use like a 1.8 uh, stitch length when you do that so that you, the seam doesn't come apart when you, when you uh, press the seam open like this. So you have your half square triangle. Then you're gonna take, and this is eight inches, I want to just say that if you start with an eight inch strip, you get an eight inch block. So the next part that we're going to do is we're going to take a four inch square and we're going to put it on one of the corners. And we want to put it on not where the two colors come together corner, but in the opposite corners right here and here. And so you're going to put your block on top of your block in the corner like this and you're gonna place your ruler and you need to face the corner that you need to cut off 
and you're going to line up on the four inch square here and the diagonal of course always faces the corner that you need to cut off and so you're going to cut off it's going to add your quarter inch for you and then you're going to sew um, all the blocks on it'll kind of look like this after you get done and then you're going to press those seams open just like this and when you get done you get a block that's like this and so if you put four of these together then you're going to get a formation like this that creates a little yellow diamond within the pink diamonds or pink squares I should say they are squares so um, fun quilt block to do um, and for those of you that got the folded corner clipper ruler um, to do the mystery or maybe you've gotten the ruler beforehand this is a great little project and it's easy to do and we have some great fabrics here that have come in the shop lately so um, give this block a try and see how you like it so my next project that I have for you is a simple Christmas uh, quilt that you can make using the strip tube ruler. In this quilt, I decided that I wanted to use this Christmas fabric line by Basic Gray. They are the people that make grunge, and every year they make up a really pretty Christmas line. And this year, the line has reds, aquas, and greens in it. And so I wanted something, because there's lots of different prints in it, I wanted something where I could strip piece things together and get it together quickly so that it will be done by Christmas. That's my goal anyways. That's all of our goals. It turned out really pretty. I used white grunge with it and I used the strip tube ruler and you've seen me talk about this one too. I've had this one for a while. It's got all my uh, uh, sandpaper um, anti-slip pads on the back of it because I use it a lot and it's a great way to make blocks quickly and so what I did is I looked up quilt blocks that I can put together easily and the strip tubing book booklet that we have here that goes along with the ruler has lots of great ideas and I made one of them up it was a zigzag pattern done in blue and green batiks more towards last spring and um, I thought, well, I'm going to make one up for Christmas because we always want to have our Christmas quilts and decorations here in the shop, and you want them at home too during Christmas season. And this one goes together quickly. So what I did is I saw a design that I liked. This is a traditional Roman square block. So a Roman square is a bunch of stripes on one side and then a solid on the other side. And it's usually, you know, on the diagonal that you use it. It's really easy to do the, with the strip tube method because with strip tube, if you've never heard of it, what you're doing is you're going to sew together two and a half inch strips. So you're going to sew three of them together. Then you're going to measure that and whatever size that is across your strip, you're going to cut your background piece um, the same size. And then you're going to take a set of um, strips and a background color and you're going to sew them together and you're going to create a tube. So you're going to sew a seam down this side and a seam down this side. And you can see if I open it up here, it's an actual tube just like this. And you're going to take this ruler which is um, very nicely marked. It's easy to follow the lines on it. But you're gonna take the ruler and you're gonna lay it on your strip and you're gonna cut, you're gonna cut strips. And you're gonna cut this way and then you're gonna cut down the other side. And then at the top, because there's stitching up here and there's stitching down here, there's gonna be just a little bit of stitching at the point up here. <clears throat> and so, there's going to be a couple stitches that you're just going to need to pop open and when you do it's kind of going to look like it's going to look like this okay so it'll look like this you're going to pop the couple stitches right here and when you open it up it creates a square 
because you're sewing basically two triangles together. So it's an easy way to make even half square triangles. If you just put two strips together and cut down, you would get half square triangles because that's basically what this shape is. But it's, there's a lot of fun different ways that you can lay this out. You could do something, you know, asymmetrical. So that means like the center piece could be up here in the corner more and then it kind of radiates out from there. There's zigzag patterns. There are um, just lots of different patterns in the book. And of course you can play around on your design wall too to create something. But this is a very easy quilt to put together. It's um, eight blocks by six blocks. And all I'm gonna do on this one is quilt it and put a binding, which I have a really fun binding. There's great candy stripes that come with this fabric line. And so I'm gonna do a candy stripe on the edge for the binding and it'll be done and ready for the couch on Christmas. So give this one a try. The strip tube ruler is a lot of fun to use and there's a lot of fun different patterns to make with it. Our next project is a machine applique project and it's this little skinny quilt and it has trees and little tiny cardinals on it and it's six inches wide and it comes with the little hanger that you see here on the back. And so I don't have a little pocket to put this through, but you can sew a pocket on um, and hang it that way. I just have a couple of safety pins because it's gonna be on the wall and no one's gonna see the back of it. So the pattern is called Cardinals in Winter Trees. And I used some batik fabrics that we have here. They're Christmas batik. So they have a little bit of gold in them and they just shimmered just the right amount. And um, a lot of uh, pretty um, backgrounds with um, blues and some lavenders in them that really show off the trees and the cardinals. Very easy to do. Um, this one is on the class calendar too, so if you want to um, try your hand at machine applique, I'll be happy to teach you how to do it. So I've done a couple of different machine applique projects this month. The other one is by the same company, Patchability, and this one is called Mr. Frosty. He's a cute little snowman with um, little stick arms and he's got little ice skates hanging off of one of his hands here and a great little striped um, scarf. And so this one also comes with the hanger. So here I just safety pin this, but you can also sew a little um, hanger on the back of it that these little wire things would stick um, behind or stick inside of. But it's a great, um, fun project to do. Um, easy to quilt up too. You don't have to do anything fancy. You can do straight line stitching. There's a little bit of piece work. That's how you, it's a strip piece background of blues. And then you have your fabric appliques, which are fusible on the front. This is also on the class calendar. So if you're interested in making up some cute little quilts to hang on your walls this Christmas, um, give this class a try. So another project that I finished up this month is the um, Quilting Elements stocking pattern. And Quilting Elements are a tissue with quilt designs on them that you lay over the front of your piece that you need to quilt and then you just follow with your free motion foot on your machine and just follow the pattern. It's one continuous line design so it's very easy to follow you make a front side and you make a back side. You quilt them up and then you put them together. You can either sew a seam and have a raw edge inside, or in my case, I decided to do a bias binding all the way around. I think it makes a nice finished look. And then I did it again around the top. In the pattern, they tell you how to do um, a cuff. So if you wanna put like a white cuff or something across the top here, you can also do that. It's very easy if you have done some free motion, but maybe you're not confident doing it yet. It's a great way to practice because you're actually following the line to make the design. And so you get kind of used to doing the swirly patterns and you, your confidence can grow. Once you quilt through, 
you're going to tear away the tissue that's on top. And sometimes the tissue gets stuck in the stitches, but that's what tweezers are for. It's, it's very easy to do. It took no time at all to get it done. They can have them ready for Christmas if you start now. So we have different patterns. This one is a holly pattern on this stocking. We have poinsettia patterns um, and the, some swirls too. So um, give this a try. If you've done a little bit of free motion and you're comfortable with your foot, make yourself some stockings for Santa. Our last project for today is the warm and cozy panel pattern. And so this is a quilt that Darla designed for us. It's using a panel called Warm and Cozy. It's from Northcott Fabrics, and these are flannels. So they are super cozy and warm, and great colors too. Nice neutrals in this group. She has written a pattern for it, so if you want to make this quilt up, you can just um, purchase the pattern here at the shop. And we have the fabrics, of course, and the panels. And she also has this on the class calendar. And so anybody that takes the class, she will help you learn how to um, cut out the panel piece. In some cases, she'll even do it for you, but you have to ask really nice. It's a nice lap size quilt, great for the couch. Um, the little ones will love it because of the bears on it, and they'll love it because of the coziness. She just needs to add the binding to this and it's gonna be all ready to cuddle under. So, thank you for joining me today. Be sure to check out the class calendar and you can find that on our website, which is www.sweetstitchesquiltshop.com. We have lots of classes. You can check out our machines, our fabrics. Come in and visit us and we'll help you with, get started um, with your quilting projects. Thanks for joining me today. See you next month.